the Chase Thomas Podcast for people who have nothing but time to kill. He's probably going to be a good player, but he's yeah. just more of a role guy, more of a role kind of player. And then you for look sure. at Duran, more of a role player, good player, but a role player. And then Jaden Ivey, you're like, man, if you miss on all those in terms of not missing, just like they're going to be all bad players. It's just to get that many guys not develop into potentially even worst case scenario, a second team all NBA guy in their prime. They're like, what are we doing? Like, it's just demoralizing as a fan base. Cause you're like, you would hope at least one of these guys would, uh, can, would break out. And I just don't know who that is. I would still bet Cade, but I just, I don't feel great about it. Yeah. Um, you know what else I don't feel great about Rob as uh, we wrap up here, the Miami heat, uh, in terms of them playing the Atlanta Hawks, because that should just be given a win uh, as long as Spo is coaching the Heat. Uh, they just know how to put Trey in this group in a blender every time they play. Uh, but the Heat are playing really good basketball right now. A lot of people were panicking early on. Were you, uh, first thing, were you an early panicker about uh, the Heat? And also, do you think they're fine and that this is now sustainable and this is more of who they are, a top four seed? Because people forget they were a lot playing team last year. Um, it's not like everything was smooth sailing and it's not like the flip to the switch uh, flipped and things were awesome in the regular season. I, I don't know. Where are you at with the heat? Yeah, they don't really do smooth sailing. No, they, they kind of <laughs> they sometimes trip and fall over themselves all throughout mm-hmm. the regular season. And then they have enough guys who you can count on in the playoffs where it, it just works out. OK, like yeah. it's, it, it, they're one of those mystifying teams in that way. And in particular, Jimmy Butler is one of those mystifying players in that way. Mm-hmm. But I think a lot of what we've seen, to be totally honest, is just good things happen when you go from playing the Celtics and the Timberwolves and the Bucks, even in their Mm. current state to playing the Wizards and the Hornets and the Grizzlies. Like a lot of that is just schedule regularization over Mm. time. But I think the most significant thing to happen on the court right now, and we can, we can say this part quietly so we don't raise too much of a fuss, but Mm -hmm. uh, they just look better when Tyler hero is not a part of their starting lineup. And he's Mm. been out of the lineup right now with an ankle injury, or at least over the last couple games. With Duncan Robinson in there, they look a lot more functional. They just look Why do you think that lot, is? They look a lot more like themselves. I think the flow of the offense is so much more in tune with the way the Heat want to play and the way that mm-hmm. they're best served playing. Hero put up some great individual numbers to start the season, and really in every game he's played for the most part, but it's not a coincidence that when you look at the lineup data, it's like Hero and Butler and Bam on the floor together. That's like a break-even lineup for the most part. Mm-hmm. When Jimmy and Bam play without him, healthy net positive hmm. every other combination is losing and so it, you know it's it's one of those things where you put these two core guys with more shooting a better combination of defenders too like they've kind of uh promoted haywood highsmith in the rotation too yeah. they've been starting him more which is nice for their defense but really the big jump has been going from an awful bottom of the bin offense to start the season to now getting like closer to league average and their defense is going to be strong enough to overcome an average offense for the most part. So I think just that gain alone, that functionality of having not just another shooter on the floor, but a movement shooter like Robinson and someone who isn't going to control and dominate the ball quite as much as hero does. I think it's just better for their flow, to be honest with you. Does anything look different with Jimmy? Do you see any signs of aging or any kind of just the kind of runs that they've been on the last couple of years kind of weighing on him? Or does he look just like old Jimmy? He looks like regular season Jimmy to me. Okay. Which, Which is to say, Every couple games, he'll pop off for 25 to 30. Mm. And some games, he's going to put up like 12 points. And, and that's going to be okay, too, depending on what the rest of your team does. Or maybe it's just kind of what it's going to be. But yeah, that for whatever reason, that's the way he is. And I don't know if it's just his game ebbing and flowing as hard as it does. Uh, but certainly, you can see him just not really care to be a dominant scoring yeah. star on a nightly basis. And Miami doesn't really want him to be. They should do a whole thing. Oh, 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 oh.